Hello, OEA Vice President Jeff Wensing. I'm here to give you a brief update of what's taking place in Columbus and what we're hearing from our local leaders. So first of all, the redistricting commission is meeting. They're charged with drawing more fair maps when it comes to electing our legislators here in Ohio and our uh, congressional representation in Washington, DC. Uh, our voters in 2018 overwhelmingly voted by a total of 71% said we need to end gerrymandering. We need to draw fair maps so we have competitive races and that our legislators actually do a good job of representing us and listening to us, uh, to, to listening to their constituency in Columbus and in Washington, DC. Uh, so those maps are due tomorrow, actually, September 15th. The initial maps weren't so great. We're hoping we can reach some uh, consensus, some bipartisan consensus, so we have a 10-year map instead of a four-year map. So uh, currently we have 64 representatives in the House uh, versus 35, 64 Republican, 35 Democrat. And in the Senate, it's 25 to uh, 8 uh, Republican to Democrat. Those aren't representative numbers. The uh, data shows that we lean 55%, 45% or so here in Ohio, Republican to Democrat. So our districts need to be more representative of the people here in Ohio. Get those maps drawn fairly. Uh, we've been meeting with local leaders uh, across the state, whether it's in person at leadership council meetings or over Zoom, and we're hearing some things. Uh, first thing we're hearing is that there are some quarantines taking place for both students and educators. So much so that they have to close some schools because there aren't enough subs, both uh, certified and classified, so they don't have enough educators to staff those buildings. Masking guidelines, they're all over the place. We have some masking guidelines uh, that are zero. No masking guidelines at all, including on our school buses, which is not acceptable, it's inappropriate. Uh, also, we have some districts that have full mask requirements. Um, also causing some stress are local school board meetings. There are some angry, uh, divisive people that are directing their anger at local school boards as well as our union leaders, our local leaders, which is unacceptable also. Uh, but on some of the positive notes, one, uh, student behavior is pretty good. Our students have gotten into the swing of things, uh, and for the most part, they're doing a good job. When required to wear masks, they're doing a good job with it. Uh, also, uh, some of our local leaders have bargained and negotiated positive MOUs, extending some of the protections that we had last year uh, when we were going through the same type of circumstance. So, um, speaking of school boards, we have some school board elections that are taking place in November. Uh, as you might guess, uh, across the state. We have some uh, friendly members to public education, friendly school board members that we need to continue to get elected, and we need to keep the non-friendly members away from our school boards. We need pro-public education people on school boards. Reach out to our GR department if you need some support in uh, getting your endorsed candidates elected in your local for your local school board. Uh, campaign 2022. Kickoff's going to be taking place in uh, October through December. We'll be holding meetings. Uh, we're going to be inviting candidates to those meetings. We'll be electing delegates to our state council where we uh, meet and we talk about our, our endorsed candidates uh, at that time. So uh, uh, formerly called reorganizational meetings, we're now calling them uh, campaign 2022 kickoff meetings. So be on the lookout for those invitations. Speaking of, the OEA Fund, it's a great reminder to tell our members that the OEA Fund is an integral part of our political process here in getting pro-public education uh, representation elected here in Columbus and on local school boards. You know, we need to get our, our representatives that favor uh, our mission here in Columbus elected. And the OEA Fund helps you, us do that. Look what we were able to do with bipartisan uh, support of the Fair School Funding Plan, of changing the A to F report card to a five-star system that incorporates the student opportunity profile and ending uh, state takeover of our schools. So Lorraine, Youngstown, and East Cleveland now have the uh, control of an elected school board coming back to them uh, next year. So uh, what you'll find attached to uh, the email that goes along with this video is that you'll find your president, Scott Tomorrow, his testimony. He testified today on our behalf. 
letting our legislators know and that commission know that we need to have end gerrymandering and we need to have fair maps drawn that elect our legislators here in Ohio. And again, that represent us in Washington, D.C. Uh, there's also going to be something attached to this uh, email about loan forgiveness, student loan forgiveness. And uh, yes, the OEA bargaining boot camps are back, the very popular bargaining boot camps. So again, I appreciate what you're doing uh, for your members and for OEA and being our representatives across the state. Thank you.